Hey folks, this is Andrew Kloster, Colorado Field Advocate with Earthworks. And over the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna quickly run through some of our high level findings from our most recent round of field work in Western Colorado in the middle of June. As always, for those who may not be familiar with Earthworks, we use specially designed optical gas imaging cameras to document pollutants at oil and gas facilities that are invisible to the naked eye. So mainly methane and volatile organic compounds. And in the GIF on this title slide, you'll actually see it transitions from a naked eye view of this ugly looking tank to an animated GIF showing um, some emissions venting from the top of that tank. So just as a quick overview, um, over the course of those two days, we looked at roughly a little bit over 50 oil and gas facilities in two primary areas, one being the I-70 corridor in Garfield County, the other being the Medicine Bow Route National Forest area in Route and Rio Blanco counties. And we identified seven sites as priority sites based on the type or significance of the emissions that we saw. And for each of these seven, we have filed complaints with either the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment or the Colorado Oil and Gas Conservation Commission. And then the top line finding from this round of field work, which I wanna focus on during this brief presentation is um, emissions at marginal, so low producing and inactive wells. Um, this is um, something that has at the, the COGCC has been undergoing financial assurances rulemaking this year and now into next year. And one of the things that this rulemaking has revealed is the concerning gap of knowledge around um, pollution from these sorts of sites, how much pollution is coming from these sorts of sites. Um, so we've started taking a little bit more of a concerted look at low producing and inactive wells when we're out in the field. Um, you may recognize uh, if you follow our work, our Jackson County work a couple of months ago, we also looked at quite a few marginal wells and found pollution at them. And that's, that's what we are finding of those seven priority sites, five fall in this category of either being inactive or marginal, um, which seems to indicate that at the very least, um, pollution at these sites is not uncommon and it may be a much larger problem than the state is currently acknowledging. So I'm gonna just highlight um, some of what we're seeing at these sorts of sites. So this is a, a low producing site um, in Route County Bayless, Dry Creek Federal. You'll see on the left hand side is an overview of the site itself, a picture showing the site. And then on the right hand side, this GIF is zoomed into the top of that pipe coming off of that tank. Um, and you'll just see this plume of emissions is venting um, up and above the tree canopy. Um, we always take note of venting tanks and are concerned about it because on one hand, venting, routine venting at least, is prohibited in the state of Colorado. Also, venting means that these hydrocarbons are just being released directly into the atmosphere. There's no combustion or anything as an intervention. Um, so concerning on multiple levels. This is also another tank on a different site in Route County. This is the Phoenix Resources Mary Height B site. Um, and you'll see in this tank from the GIF as well, there's emissions coming from around the um, thief hatch, it looks like, and then also from that pipe on top of the tank. And then the last two I wanna quickly highlight are actually inactive wells. So these wells are not currently producing whatsoever. And both of the, this well and the next well I'll show are also orphaned wells, meaning that the operator has abandoned them. They're now the responsibility of the state of Colorado, Colorado taxpayers to ultimately pay for the cleanup and remediation of these sites. So this is the steel productions pinnacle unit 1030 site in Rio Blanco County and um, You'll see on the GIF, there are emissions venting from this tank. Um, while these are not nearly as significant as the last couple of examples, um, in some ways these are more concerning given that this is an inactive site. This site has actually been inactive since 2019. So for a few years now, there's been no activity on this site, no production, and yet there are still emissions venting from this tank. This is also a steel production site, steel production's pinnacle unit 1230, as I mentioned, another orphaned well in Rio Blanco County. And uh, you'll see on the, in the GIF on the right, there are emissions as well venting from this tank. This is almost more concerning than the last uh, site in the sense that this site has actually been inactive since uh, I believe 2014. So for more than half a decade now, there's been no production on the site and yet we are still seeing emissions venting from this tank. Um, so that's all I have to share today but I promise we'll have much more in the months to come, especially as we continue to take a look at and shine a light on what may be a very significant problem with pollution from these marginal well facilities and inactive facilities. Thanks all.